The territorial dispute between Belize and Guatemala is one that has been ongoing for decades, spanning from as far back as 1940. Efforts have been made in the last seven decades or so to settle the claim, but it all failed, leaving both countries to date in another round of diplomatic attempts in reaching a solution. Back in 2007, the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, Jose Miguel Insulza, recommended to Belize and Guatemala that both countries take the unresolved territorial dispute to the International Court of Justice. His recommendation came out of the agreement on having a formulated plan, a plan that would seek to foster sound negotiations and confidence-building measures between both countries that would lead to the end of Guatemala's claim over parts of Belize. At the time of the recommendation by the OAS Secretary General, Said Musa was Belize's Prime Minister. In an interview conducted back then, Musa stated that his administration would be seeking to conduct a referendum after the general elections that were slated for 2008. Here is that interview with Musa as the then Prime Minister of Belize and his sentiments on going to a referendum on the ICJ issue. The video footage comes to us courtesy Von Gill. The Secretary General of the Organization of American States, Mr. Insulza, has now made a recommendation that to reach a settlement between Belize and Guatemala over this long-standing differendum, that we should pursue going to the International Court of Justice to have a judicial or a juridical solution to the problem. Uh, this has come about because, as you know, we've had ongoing negotiations over the years, and as recent as September 2005, we began a new round of negotiations. But all these negotiations came to naught. Uh, in fact, in more recent times, we were trying to see if we could arrive at a settlement at least on the maritime areas, and even that has failed. So I think uh, that's the backdrop to why the Secretary General of the OAS feels that, and has recommended, that we should now consider both parties going to the International Court of Justice to make a ruling on this matter. I should say that it's a recommendation that is not unexpected, but it's also a recommendation that will require very careful analysis and consultation with the Belizean people. And this uh, consultation, this comprehensive uh, <coughs> discussion and analysis will take place not before, but after the general elections. That was over seven years ago in 2007. The general elections came in March 2008, stripping the Musa administration of its powers and installing for the first time the Barrow administration. But before we bring you up to speed with where we currently are on the matter of negotiations, we thought it would be interesting to hear just what the former Prime Minister Said Musa had to say on the strength of Belize's case in Guatemala's unfounded claim. The basic implication is that once both parties agree to accept the court ruling on a binding basis, then we are bound by that decision. We've always been maintained and believe that Belize has a very strong case. And it's not just me or politicians saying that. It is based on all the legal advice and expert advice that we've received over the years. So I think it is quite an achievement in a sense if Guatemala agrees to have this matter settled uh, juridically. Because I feel very confident that Belize has a very strong case very strong ironclad case in maintaining our existing borders, which were established way back in 1859, defined. And of course, in terms of the law of the sea, in terms of the maritime matters, that will be determined by established law of the sea convention. But let me quickly add, it is not what I feel or what I suggest. It is what the Belizean people, after hearing all the arguments, the pros and the cons, they will decide in the end whether or not we go to court to have this matter settled. When the Barrow administration took over office in 2008, negotiations between the two countries continued 
and in December 2008, a special agreement was signed in which both countries agreed to hold simultaneous referenda to get the voters' decision on whether or not the matter should go to the International Court of Justice. The referenda in both Belize and Guatemala was to take place on October 6, 2013. But that never came to fruition, as Guatemala had decided that they would not hold their referendum unless Belize had changed its referendum laws to a minority vote, which they claimed would have leveled the playing field. Guatemala's reluctance back in 2013 has now brought us to the signing of another document, which happened this past Monday in Guatemala with representation from Belize and the OAS. We will have more on the signing of the amended articles later in our newscast.